But okay, so the so the Beatles famously talked about they wanted to make a Lord of the Rings movie, and I don't know how serious talks of this ever was. It sounded like a like a disaster. <laughs> Paul was going to be Frodo. John was going to be Gollum, I think. I can see that. Yeah, and <laughs> that's a compliment. <laughs> Actually, was Yoko? Can we get Yoko as Gollum? I think. I think. I think George was going to be Gandalf. Okay. Maybe Ringo would have been Sam. Oh yeah. Let's say we have those four Beatles, and we're trying to fill it with like mid to late sixties like character actors. Like, okay, so who do we have? We have Lee Van Cleef is uh, is is an option, and who, who, I, I mentioned Boromir. You mentioned Elrond. I think those are both possibilities. Again, I don't remember if they had an Aragorn from that Beatles cast. I think Peter Laurie might have been dead or or at least too old, but. But it, had they made it in like the 50s or early 60s, Peter Lorre as Wormtongue would have been awesome. If you, if you make that movie back then, I mean, it's tough to say because he was kind of a young man at the time, but it's hard to not imagine them getting like Peter O'Toole as Gandalf. So if were, they made Lord of the Rings in the 80s, Peter O'Toole would have been Gandalf. I feel, right? yeah, Peter O'Toole, uh, he could have been a lot Him of different characters, Him or Christopher Palmer, probably. But could've they would have seen... gotten like distinguished British actor i mean they could have gone alec guinness yeah yeah they could have thrown alec guinness in there they i mean if if this was made in the 80s john reese davies still would have been in it <laughs> you know probably he would have still been gimli so paul and ringo were going to play frodo and sam ringo as sam like ringo doesn't really fit any of them that's probably the best option for him ringo plays the uh drumming trolls at the black gate <laughs> Yeah, okay, I like that. But George was going to be Gandalf, and John was going to be Gollum. So they didn't have an Aragorn. No, and then apparently... Clint Stan- Eastwood could have been Aragorn. Clint Eastwood would have been a good Aragorn, I think. Another I, American. I actually think so. You know? Yeah, if you, if you go American, I think that's about as good as you get. They're saying that Kubrick almost directed this Beatles Lord of the Rings that's movie. That's bullshit. Yeah. I don't buy that for a fucking second. No. You, you're telling me he took time off of planning 2001 to consider directing a movie where where Ringo plays Samwise Gamgee? I don't buy that for a goddamn second. <laughs> there's that no, is there's absolute no other ideas of cast in here, by the way. But No, I, yeah, because I don't think it ever really was serious. No. But in this dumb Collider article I was just scrolling through, they oh, were like, God. oh, David Lean might have directed the movie. Fuck off. Oh, that's even, that's even worse than Kubrick. That's even less believable than Kubrick. <laughs> but if it's, Dave, if it's David Lean, though, Peter O'Toole absolutely on the table. Al Guinness is almost a definite. Do you think Omar Sharif would have been? Yeah, Omar been Sharif would have been someone also. There would have, Richard Burton would have been in it. And same with, uh, what's her face? The slug, Cleopatra. Uh, what's her name? <laughs> Oh, Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> Thank well, you. Yeah, Elizabeth Taylor. You you say that David Lean didn't do Cleopatra. No, no, no. But I'm just saying. I'm not saying he wouldn't have gotten those worked with those actors. I'm just if no. You're but but if this was done David in the Lean. '60s, Richard Burton and Liz Taylor would have probably been in it. Yeah, who's the drunkest character in Lord of the Rings? It's probably one of the Hobbits, <sighs> or it's John Rhys Davies. I'm just picturing Richard Burton, salted pork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he's just bloated from alcoholism. Yeah. Mickey Rooney, Mickey Rooney as <laughs> Gimli. Hello, uh, that's <laughs> make it happen, folks. Make it happen, Hollywood. Is Mickey uh, Rooney still alive? I know he lived really long. He might have died like five years ago, though. Mickey Rooney would have been a good golem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just thinking of that, that scene in Silent Night, Deadly Night Five, or whatever. <laughs> Where he just downs up like a pint of whiskey, <laughs> like it's a shot. So, uh, who would you cast Alec Guinness as? G- Gandalf's off the table because Gandalf is George Harrison. Uh, Alec I, I'm just going to point out, by the way, I think it would be weird to cast old veteran actors in a movie where George Harrison plays a two thousand year old wizard. Like, that, wouldn't that be weird? Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, but they would still do it. It would just be weird. So Alec Guinness as Theoden. Uh, yeah, or, yeah or I, I can see that. Something. I was thinking maybe Peter O'Toole as Bilbo. 
No, he was, he's, he was criticized for being too tall to be T.E. Lawrence because T.E. Lawrence is like 5'5 five five or something. He's going to be criticized for being <laughs> too tall to be Bilbo. Yeah, and if this was made during the 60s, you know they're not doing like the effect shots that like Peter Jackson's doing. No, yeah, the, yeah they were, <laughs> the Hobbits would have just had hairy feet, but they would have been six feet tall probably. Like, <laughs> yeah. it would, whatever they would do would be bad. Yeah, but yeah, I think, I think Peter O'Toole would make a good Bilbo. He, he can be kind of jovial. You know? I feel like Peter Peter O'Toole needs to be someone. I'm not 100 percent sure who though. Maybe Saruman. We don't have a Saruman. Uh, maybe that should go to Alec Guinness or Lee Van Cleef. Yeah, who did I say? No, I think Lee Van Cleef. Would be you you good said Elrond. him as Elrond. Okay, I he, I, he looks I like. Weird. He kind of speaks a little weird. That's in the vein I, of Hugo Weaving. I like Eastwood as Aragorn. Aragorn, I do like that. I it never would have happened. Who do we cast Oliver Reed as? That's the question. And is he sober enough to get in a film? Probably not. But if we're considering Richard Burton, Oliver Reed can't be off the table. Half of the people that we've cast in this movie are not going to be sober enough to act it's in just eastwood movie. eastwood's like yeah yeah the beatles wouldn't be i mean we, we're <laughs> no. overlooking that part this yeah. is late 60s beatles they were high as as fucking kites yeah, they, they just got back from india <laughs> yeah know? but we could work billy preston into this movie as somebody billy preston how about as bilbo all right so here's my Sauron. I'm, I'm actually going to list three options even though i think i have a leader in the clubhouse i'm going to point out that christopher lee is still an option that's true christopher yeah. lee was around he was doing hammer movies the uh, the wicker man 73 like he was around he was playing villainous roles dignified villainous roles not like super old but he wasn't a young man though either i'm going to point out peter cushing is on the table and 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 that might be oh. kind of the most logical one but i'm going to say the best one vincent fucking price <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay, let's put him in there. Late 60s, Vincent Price, Saruman. I mean, it's, it's tough to say no to Peter Cushing, but, but Price is perfect. He's, like, tall, too. Yeah, and he's got that face. He's got kind of, like, an evil-looking face, a lot like both Cushing and Lee. But... And Price is a, is a perfect one to work into. Like, we're talking about, like, American actors. Price is, like, the perfect American actor to play, like, a Lord of the Rings because he has that transatlantic accent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. He, he's, you would kind of think he's British. Donald Pleasance as Gimli. Oh my god. Come, doesn't that kind of work? <laughs> yeah, except can we give him a gun, like in the Halloween movies, and not an axe? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I stabbed him six times. <laughs> I think that, I've killed 82 men. 82! <laughs> I'm penciling Donald Pleasance in. I want to like write all this stuff down, so, so we have our four Beatles. We still need a Legolas, right? Yeah, we still need a Legolas. I'm going to say Alec Guinness as Theoden. Yeah, I'm fine with that, yeah. I don't think he'd do Saruman. He doesn't really do the villain. No, he, he's a nice old man. Yeah, he's kind of a villain in Bridge and the Road Quiet, but he also, it's like after being brainwashed, basically. Yeah. I'm going to say uh, Vincent Price as uh, as Saruman. We have Lee Van Cleef as Elrond. We have Clint Eastwood as, as Aragorn. We still need a Marion Pippin. And you just mentioned Legolas. I'm going to throw one out here, and I don't feel great about it, but Robert Redford. <sighs> I'm just thinking Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. The Butch, it's a similar Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid is like a perfect shot who never misses, and that's Legolas. That's that's that's. I, I really like that. I like that idea. Also, but he Robert might be Redford a little too is bulky to be Legolas. You know what I mean? You need like maybe, a but. I, it, the other thing is Robert Red- Redford is like the most gorgeous man who's ever lived, and that's kind of the Orlando Bloom thing. Okay, then, yeah. then pencil him in there. That sounds good. Okay. Can we do Richard Dreyfus as like <laughs> Mary or Pippin? I think this is a little bit before Richard Dreyfus's time, but yeah, I mean, if we're going like a small character, small actor. Well, if in... this is if this is late sixties, early seventies, when it's getting off the ground, I'm not opposed to the Richard Dreyfus thing. It's just it wouldn't have been my first thought. So we don't have a Boromir yet. Yeah, well, you got to pick somebody that you, you know, that's kind of. I guess Richard Burton would be a good Boromir. He's a little. He, I he's too. I can't picture Richard Burton in like combat. If we get Burton, I think Burton is is a, is Denethor. Okay. Uh, yeah, I I agree with that. I, I actually think that would be a great role for Richard, but that might be the best casted character we have here. I love Vincent. I still love Vincent Price. And I love Donald Pleasant's as Gimli. <laughs> That's more of a joke. You, yeah. And I'm still trying to think of my worm tongue. I, I, oh, actually, you might not know, even know this actor, 
but there is a perfect worm tongue that existed in European films around that time. His name is Klaus Kinski. Just look at Klaus Kinski. That is, there's no man that's ever been better suited for worm tongue. And he's like a weirdo European guy. You can dub him. Oh my God. I'm looking at a photo of him right now. Yeah. Yeah. He's a German actor. He's famously (laughs) a complete asshole. He'd shave his eyebrows off for sure. His big thing was he was Nosferatu in the Werner Herzog 1979 Nosferatu, but he was like a big European German movie star, I think in the seventies, but I think he, or maybe he was never really a movie star aside from Nosferatu. He's a character actor. He shows up in a lot of spaghetti westerns. He's in for a few dollars more. It's a relatively small role. Oh, okay. I always forget he's in that. But you really, really weird looking guy. A little bit like Richard Burton, famous for his um, antics, shall we say. I, I think he was a heavy drinker and he was just generally an asshole. But he was like really passionate about like his abilities as an actor in a way that rubbed every single person who ever worked with him the wrong way a little richard burtony uh the german richard burton perhaps sean connery is fully on the table for someone see i was gonna say sean connery i don't i can't see him as boromir though well he'd want a bigger maybe maybe robert shaw as boromir oh robert shaw himself that'd be decent yeah We, we can get another drunk actor in here we didn't mention steve mcqueen Steve McQueen's too American, I think. I think so. He's, 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 I just picture motorcycles. You could say that about Eastwood, though, too, but, you know, you could easily say that about Eastwood. We, we, there's probably a, no, but I mean, you East, could get, but Eastwood's rugged, and yes. he, he plays a very kind of similar, I don't want to say he's similar to Aragorn in, like, the Dollars trilogy, but, like, th- that ruggedness kind of, kind of matches up with the character. So we never, who were some of the guys you listed for Bilbo? I said, How about Mickey face? Rooney as Bilbo? Mickey Rooney as Bilbo? I yeah. want okay. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I guess we don't have a Marion Pippin yet. Just kind of like young British actor who Yeah, yeah, just just time. throw in just random young. Think. Or like if you want, you could have you know who did kind of crazy well? What's his face? That we just watched in Caligula. Malcolm Malcolm McDowell. McDowell. I think he he might have been too young though. I think Clockwork might be his first movie. Yeah. But also, like, we're talking about Marion Pippin. Marion Pippin, I, if I'm casting Marion Pippin, I don't want an actor who does crazy well. Yeah, who starred in Blowjob the movie. <laughs> yeah, that's who I want for Grima Wormtongue. Yeah, but I, I think Malcolm McDowell, would, as a young man, could play, like, f- funny comic relief well. Probably could, but I, I just, I, I don't think he's our best option, though, is what okay. I'm saying. I, we haven't mentioned Michael Caine, by the way. I just don't think there's a good spot for him. Um, Kane is like Eastwood age, so he's not old, but he's not really young at this time. So like could he, he could be like fa- no, he couldn't be Faramir. You'd have to pick somebody. He could be Boromir, maybe, maybe get a little um, working class accent for Boromir, which is kind of what they do with Sean Bean. That is true. Yeah, I'm going to go with Ray Brooks as either Mary or Pippin. I don't even know who that is, but I'll... no, no, he's not. A, he's he is the male lead of the film The Knack and How to Get It, which was a black and white British comedy released in 1965, directed by Richard Lester, which is notable because he did the first two Beatles films. He did A Hard Day's Night. And, oh, um, okay. And and I think he did Help. I'm not 100 percent sure, but and this was like his follow up to. A Hard Day's Night. I don't remember much about the movie, but I'm going to... He's, he's a comedy guy uh, who still gives you that kind of British class. I'm th- he's Mary or Pippin. You know who I want to pick for Bilbo? Alistair Sim, who played Ebenezer Scrooge in the 1950s. No, I know, I know him, okay. but but what, what, what age are we looking at, though? Well, he'd be old man. Well, because when did Sim die? Like in the 80s or something? He, okay, he would have been late. We're talking about 1968-ish. He, he was born in 1900. Okay, that's all right. Ian Holm was... Could he do an English accent? I guess he does in, in Scrooge. He is English. He, no, he's Scottish, but... Oh, you're right. Okay. 